everyone, this is Lindy from Love Create Celebrate. Welcome back to our channel. Today is the second video of my Scraps Made Modern series. If you missed the first video, I will link it up top. But basically what I'm doing is taking some scrap wood from our previous DIY projects or renovations and turning it into something modern and beautiful for the home. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please hit that subscribe button so we don't miss out on any future DIY and home renovation videos. In this video, I'm going to be taking a scrap wood board and making it into two beautiful home decor pieces. They're both inspired by some more expensive pieces that I will show you in the video, and I've tried to make a more affordable version for you guys today. Very exciting today is that my friend Shara from the Woodshop Diaries is also going to be doing a Scraps Made Modern video. She did her own scrap wood project and I know you guys are going to love it. I will link to her project in the description so you guys can check it out. But she is a really talented woodworker. She shares lots of different woodworking projects and DIY furniture projects. Definitely check out her channel if you get a chance. Today I'm doing two projects that are inspired by other pieces, which I will show you soon. So these are going to be much more affordable versions of those projects. One of them doesn't require a lot of tools, so I tried to do one that basically anyone could do. And then I have another one that requires a little bit more tools, including one tool that I still need a lot of practice with. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's jump into those projects. So this is the board I'm working with today. It's a scrap piece of plywood that we had left over from a previous project and I knew it would be big enough for what I wanted to do today. For my first project I actually needed a couple of dowels that were only a couple inches long and I had picked up this random dish rack from the thrift store once for $3.50 so I decided to take that apart and just pull a couple of the dowels out of it for my project. Next, I grabbed a couple of embroidery hoops. I actually had these in my craft stash already, but they're really cheap at Michael's or on Amazon if you wanna get your own. My idea was to make a couple of these circle stands. You can get these online, I'll link to some below, but they're like $70 for one, and I knew I could make something that would look similar for a lot less money. So here I'm just trying to measure out what size I want my base of these stands to be and I decided on 5 inches by 2.5 inches. You can use any saw to cut these down to size and I just chose to cut it on our table saw. The next step is to attach the dowels to the base. I realized at this point that one of my dowels wasn't quite straight and I really need them to be very straight for this project so I ditched that guy. Next I found a drill bit that I thought would perfectly fit the dowels so I tested it on some scrap wood, just put a couple holes in and the dowel fit snugly and perfectly in the hole. Next, I had to find the center of my bases so that I could drill a hole for the dowels. I just did this with a ruler or a speed square actually in this case. Then once I had found my centers, I drilled a hole right in the center about halfway through the plywood board. And then I wanted to put a small hole in my hoop as well, just so I could make sure everything was stable and secure. When I looked at the hoop, there's a bunch of spots where you can tell the wood has been spliced together, so I tried to find a spot in between those where the wood was stronger. I just held the hoop on the edge of some scrap wood and drilled into it. I tried not to drill all the way through, I just wanted a little bit of a mark so that my dowel would sit and rest nicely in place. Thank you. 
Once everything was ready, I sanded down my bases, making sure to sand all of the edges and corners just slightly so that there weren't any sharp pieces. Now I used wood glue to attach my dowel to the hoop. The important thing here is making sure that everything is level. So you actually need the dowel to be a little bit off the ground or off of your table surface as it's drying. Otherwise your piece will not sit straight up. So I attached them here. I clamped them together with a small clamp to hold it in place. And as you can see in the next little video, the free side of my dowel was raised up a little bit into the clamp. You do the same thing with your other hoop, making sure to wipe off any excess glue that squeezes out. The final step is to paint everything. I primed it all with a spray primer and then painted it with a matte black spray paint. Here's what our finished circlet stands look like. I actually love them. I think they would look good on pretty much any open shelf that we have or any buffet table. I'm definitely really happy with how they came out. And from a shelf, I don't think you'd be able to tell the difference between these and the really expensive version. And on to project number two. For this project, I needed to draw a couple of circles onto my plywood board. I wanted my circles to be only about an inch or a couple centimeters difference in their diameter because I'm going to layer them on top of each other to recreate this kind of tray look. These trays go for $40 or $50. I will link the original in the description below so you can see what I'm looking at but I was pretty sure I could make a cheaper version with scrap wood. I wanted to use our scroll saw to cut the circles because I thought that would give me the best shape, but first I had to drill a hole on the inner edge of the hoop circle so that I would be able to insert the saw blade from the scroll saw. As I cut these, I realized a couple of things. One, it is not as easy to use a scroll saw when your blade is a bit dull and a bit bent. And two, I need some practice using a scroll saw. <laughs> I cut the inside circle first and then moved to the outside circle and they both are definitely going to need some sanding to make them look perfectly circular. Since my inside edge definitely was not perfectly circular, I used the oscillating sander we had before I glued everything up just to try and even out all of the edges and make it as smooth as possible. I did the inside edge here first because I knew it would be much harder to sand this edge once the pieces were glued together. Then I glued and clamped everything together with wood glue. The next day I moved over to our belt sander. You can use sandpaper or any other sander for this, but it will take longer and is probably a little bit trickier than using a belt sander like this one and I just sanded all the edges and made it as smooth as possible. I wanted the inside surface of the tray to have a nice natural wood look and have the wood grain shine through, so I used a natural stain and stained the inside, and then once the stain was set, I protected it with polycrylic.
Then I wanted to paint the rim and the outside of our tray. So I used frog tape to tape along the edges of the wood base. To do this, I just ripped small pieces of frog tape and stuck them down one at a time until I was all the way around the tray. Then I painted everything with an exterior paint from Bayer. I used exterior paint just to make sure it was well protected from any drinks or anything else that would be on the tray. And I put these guys up on my little triangles to paint. If you don't have those triangles, I will link them in the description box because they're one of the most useful painting tools we have. And here's how the final tray looks. I'm so happy with how it came out. I'm not so happy with my scroll saw skills. They definitely need some work, but the black really hides any imperfections, so I'm pretty happy that I painted it all black. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below and let me know which project was your favorite. And as always, hit the bell so you can be notified of more great DIY and home renovation videos. If you have not already, go check out Shara's video and her Scraps Made Modern project. I know you're going to love it. Thanks for watching!